Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another week of my life. We are in St. Pete Beach, Florida today, and today we are having a beach day. Unfortunately, it is our last day here in Florida, and literally, like, I could throw my head against a wall. I don't know if I can say that on YouTube. I, I wouldn't do that, but, like, I really am, like, we're gonna vomit. Like, actually, like, the thought of leaving here, like, actually sounds excruciating, and I know that sounds so dramatic, but, like, this is the first place I've ever gone to that no matter how long I'm here, I'm never ready to leave, and I feel like that really says something about a place especially with how many places that Mackenzie and I have been together there's just something about it here that it's just like so peaceful and calming and I really feel like every day I'm working on myself in all the right ways like I want to wake up early in the morning and I want to be outside and I want to enjoy the nature and I want to journal and do all the things and we like socialize and like do all the fun things too but like there's just like a balance here that I find very refreshing with like mental health too. It puts me on a type of schedule that like I'm not forcing myself to do things I'm looking forward to doing things. So <sighs> All that being said today's our last day tomorrow We are gonna have a road trip for 14 hours together. I know you guys are gonna be so excited about that <laughs> Mackenzie like keeps thinking in her head that she's gonna be driving all 14 hours and I keep offering to drive But like she never really ever like hands the wheel over but like I'm very willing and capable of driving if she needs a break But just like the thought of having to do that tomorrow when we've been having such a great time here really feels daunting So we're gonna have to leave at 4 a.m. Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and then the rest of the week We're gonna be in Jersey getting back in a routine doing all the laundry We're gonna be posting tons of stuff to posh probably like cleaning my closet out doing things like that seeing some old friends hanging with my fam. I'm not sure what this weekend has in store, but we're gonna do it together, whatever it is. So welcome guys. Let's do it. Right now we're gonna go on a 30 minute run. I actually woke up for sunrise today and shot three outfits. So off to a productive start. We gotta get a little workout in, come back, eat some breakfast, and then I guess we're gonna head to the beach. Last breakfast morning together. We're having our yogurt and we just got stood up. <laughs> we were supposed to have a meeting. For like an exciting, an exciting travel opportunity, but I don't know, it's like a really big time difference, so maybe she just, there's something happened, but yeah, it was like our first joint meeting and we got set up, so I don't know what that means, but hopefully we'll get rescheduled. Morning chores. We're doing some <laughs> laundry today, and then we're gonna go get Mackenzie's car wash because it's full of sand. Oh, this has stuff in it. Oh, what a bummer. No, fish can't have it. We both have like actually so many loads of, well, I only have one, but because he's like four loads of laundry. We're in an Airbnb right now. Obviously, well, actually, I don't know if I said this yet in this vlog. We're staying at this Airbnb for a month down at St. Pete Beach. And the only downside about this place is that laundry is not only out of unit, but it's pay with quarters laundry. So like it's $2 for a load of wash and then $1.75 for the dryer. And it's not very big. And it's also like not very good for the clothes. Kind of feels like it's really tearing up my shit <laughs> to be honest with you guys but yeah so i guess we're not gonna do this chore we'll have to try yeah nothing with your hair. <laughs> yeah, guys, it's like people on youtube literally see me like this uh well i just like this was after my run <laughs> yeah Woo! get it get it get it it's, the worst acting, guys. it's doing a good job the laundry has been flipped. Dino nuggets for my last lunch here. I bought a huge pack of these mainly for like when I come home at night after we were drinking or something. And we did that a couple times, but we have a ton of them left. So I just made some for lunch. I can have these with ranch. I did some emails. I started on my packing adventure. I'm going to eat these and then head to the beach with McKenzie for a little bit. Okay guys, I haven't talked about it in this vlog, but I've talked about it in my other blends. I'm in my journal era. I came down to Florida and I really wanted to be very intentional and like journaling and like thinking a lot and just like oh, kind of being very mindful. So this is from the Intelligent Chain and this is called Becoming a Warrior Journal. And this is the same makers of the five minute journal. So I know that a lot of you guys are familiar with that. And I really like this one. I mean, it's a lot deeper. It's like, you really have to think and like pull some stuff out of places you might not want to, but I think it's really good for you. So I've been like slowly going through this, not pushing myself really hard, but doing like a prompt a day. And I'm excited to see how this helps me. I also got the Shadow Works Journal on TikTok shop, but I haven't started that one yet because that one seems a little more scary and intimidating. But this one is very user-friendly. It's like a hard cover, so it's gonna 
gonna last a while. I'm gonna bring it to the beach with me today, actually. So I'm headed there now, just put my SPF 50 on, got a Kulani Kini on. Um, this is from Amazon, I love this charm necklace, I'll link it below. And then got my $15 Target boxer shorts on, I will link those too, they're amazing. Comes in a million colors. So let's head to the beach. We're gonna try, we're gonna try to tackle this today. This is my first Emily Henry book, and I'm not gonna lie, at the beginning I was not impressed by it. It took me a while to get to this point, but now it's starting to get good. I've never read about like a male lead who's a writer. It's like so not my type. You guys know I'm like a blue collar boy type of girl, but it's, it's very interesting to see obviously other people's perspectives. Reading has opened my eyes to so many different things, but anyway, Mackenzie's up there with her chair. I'm gonna pull mine up there, read a little bit. All right guys, we're back from the beach. We literally like laid in Rosa for four hours and I linked a ton of stuff. Um, I just got some packages. Mackenzie actually unboxed them for me because she was taking the trash out. Okay, this dress is from 12 Tribe. I'm thinking about bringing this to BBI for just like a cool shot. I have these heels. I think it would look really cool with it if we had like a fancy night one night. So, love this. This is from Sailor. Oh, did you guys hear that? Mackenzie ordered this. This is selected and they sent her something else. Oh my god, that paint dress is so cute. Wow, oh my god, I love this. It feels a little warm though. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this for BBI. Wow, and look at this snazzy I like outfit. Oh my god, what's happening over there? What's going on? Oh my god. <laughs> All right, uh, well, because he's burning something over there. This pink Barbie set, oh my god, where's Jules at? This. Hey Sam, we are super stoked to send out these gold pieces for you. We hope you love everything. Can't wait to see how you style them. Much love, Kelsey and the GB team. Discount code SAM15. I'll write it on the screen for you guys for get back necklaces. Ooh, a ring too. So cool. This is the St. Christopher necklace, and I want to say that St. Christopher, it's for like if you lose things. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I was like, I think I could probably use that. Oh my gosh, wow, and the ring matches. I'm excited. This necklace here, and then the ring is, is it the same? Oh yeah, it's St. Christopher too. Cool. Thank you, get back necklaces. Let's see how this stuff looks. I've been setting 10 minute timers all day to try to get stuff done, and it's honestly been helping me be so productive. I don't know what finger to put this on, but pretty. Cool, pretty, okay. Now we're gonna go pack, I think. Look at that, yeah. I'll get my selects off the table, sorry. Oh my goodness. So a couple vlogs back, Gracie and I went to Orange Grove's Winery down the street and my favorite there was the Tangelo. They specialize in fruit wines. They literally have like 52 different kinds. Like I brought my parents home a banana wine to try and it literally tastes just like bananas. But that's what I'm drinking tonight for our last night. Figured, you know, polish her off. Cheers. Landslide is one of my favorite songs ever. One last stop on McKen's meal for quite a while. Sad. All right guys, we're currently packing. Kylie just got here, my phone's missing. So if you guys see it, um, it's a clear case with a green octobuddy, but let's pack. Heading to the sunset, guys. It is like 11.15. I finished packing like an hour ago. And then I've just been like scrolling on my phone. I really have to go to bed though. I'm gonna lay and read Beach Read for a little bit. We're heading out at four, which means I probably have to wake up at like 3.30. So we're not sleeping a lot, but Mackenzie's gonna drive the first shift. I'm talking low because I think she's asleep. I'll probably be able to sleep a little bit when I get in the car. Um, just like a hack for you guys. I literally, anytime I'm in an airport or a car or honestly like a hotel area, me anything i even do it at home sometimes it falls over because he snores a lot eye mask earplugs 
literally like you'll sleep like a rock and i don't internalize in my sleep so by the time i wake up my eye mask is usually like off my face which i kind of like actually because then you get like a little bit of light in but i really like to fall asleep in like pitch darkness so just a little hack i can literally knock anywhere when i do this like i can sleep the entire plane right anywhere i go so yeah um it's time to go to bed i'll see you guys in the morning and then we'll be back in jersey Bye. good morning it's 4 a.m and 4 5 and we are about to head out uh 15 hours is what we have on the clock right now so so just kill me <laughs> literally all right, we'll check in a little bit. I'm taking a nap until I gotta drive. 8.30 check. I've been sleeping for like an hour or two. I don't really know how long. Mackenzie's been behind the wheel. How are you feeling, Mackenzie? Not great, guys. It's like one of those days. Is this the same piece of gum or have you changed no, it? No, I changed it once. Oh, thank God. Sometimes <laughs> um, driving is like, you know, like it comes with ease when you're road tripping and then other times it's like just kind of agony and like, 30 minutes in this morning, I just knew it was going to be An agony. the agony day. <laughs> um, so, yeah. We're stopping at Dunkin' for our first food today. Last time, we're probably going to do what we did last time. Last time we stopped at Dunkin', and then we did Chick-fil-A. And honestly, that's like kind of all we needed. And like I kind of just like got a big thing in both places. We need dinner, though. Like, why did we? Yeah, we just like did eat dinner that day, which is crazy, because we always eat dinner. Well, I asked my mom. My mom was like, Sam's sleeping at my house today, and then tomorrow I'm taking her back to her house. So my mom is like, what do you want for dinner? And I was like, cheeseburgers. And she was like, well, Obviously, you're not gonna eat on Tuesday night. And I was like, how, why is that obvious? <laughs> she was like, you're gonna be home so late. And I was like, no, no, like, I'll be home in time. You're not gonna be home in time because you eat at six. I know, but like, Her family can't we make dinner happen at seven when I'm gonna be home? Um, Not to be like a complete passenger princess or anything, but it's really killing the vibe how I can't put the seat down at all like squat like this one is like it's this seat is more erect than a frontier airlines flight right now but but it's really not because when is. you look at me you think that i'm like like leaning back so much in the driver's seat no you don't look like you're leaning back that far you look like you're in a comfortable position yeah but our, our things are, are at the same our things are at the same distance um i think i'm gonna get i usually get well last time i got it I had the mistake of getting an everything bagel and in the car that's just honestly disgusting because there's just seeds and flying just everywhere. No, Is not the drive-thru. Is this only a drive-thru? No, but where do you nowhere's oh. ever only a drive-thru. There's always a door to walk in, right? Sorry to this truck, I have to park here. Comment below if you think, if a place is open 24 hours a day, do you think they ever lock the door or do you think people just keep revolving in and out of it? All right. I think they, mm, unless it's like a Sunday or a holiday maybe. All right, see you guys with our own game, bye. Okay, time for an unboxing. I'm like actually gonna ship myself <laughs> in two minutes like this. This is a large frosted, this is a large frosted donut latte. And I was like, oh, that looks good. But I wasn't in there when she was making it. I did not know it was gonna have a pound of whipped cream on the top. So there's that. And then I got breakfast sandwich plain with no cheese, which sounds so boring and hash browns. And then I went to the gas station next door and I got a Propel. One thing about me that's like a rarity that- I don't know. Sorry guys, I just woke up. One thing about me that's a rarity that like nobody agrees on is that I literally love Propel. It's like my favorite drink to drink, especially the strawberry kiwi or the berry. So Mackenzie, what'd you get? I got a cinnamon raisin bagel and I just want whoever cream cheese this to go to jail. Is that enough? Not even close. All right guys, we just switched off. Ken's is gonna take a nap over here. I like couldn't do it guys. Yeah. I just I did another hour and then I was like, I have to close my eyes for an hour. We just got to the South Carolina border. We just got to a rest stop. Nine minutes. I mean, wow, nine minutes. Nine hours left. So, it sounds like a lot when you say it out loud. All right, guys, I just drove for three hours. We just got to South the border. Like, two, two hours and 30 minutes, maybe. And we're getting gas. It's in between, it's on the border of North Carolina and South Carolina, I believe. Wait. 
Yes, it's on the border of North and South Carolina, so I just drove through the whole state of South Carolina. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep driving or Mackenzie is. I don't feel that bad with driving. I'm listening to a Theo Vaughn podcast on top of our music, so um, I'm gonna run to the bathroom really quick and then we're gonna be off again. We have uh, six and a half hours left, I think. We're gonna do Chick-fil-A for our next stop, though. Four hours, everybody! Six Woo! more hours, we're at Chick-fil-A right now. We just ordered. So my always order is a number one meal with a sometimes large fry, depending on how hungry I am, but this time I got a regular fry with Chick-fil-A sauce and a diet lemonade. Like seriously, my legs are so stiff, guys. Oh my God, we're two hours from home. And we're both like kind of hungry or like we, we don't know if we're hungry or we're bored or both. And I don't know what else to eat. Style by McKenzie behind the scenes unboxing. We just got home from a 15 hour drive. That is from Venice Beach, California. Venice? Guys, I feel dead inside. We just did 15 hours in the car. I literally came for words, but Mrs. Morgan made fl flank steak. So I'm gonna go eat some of that and watch McKenzie. Why are you gasping for Because I, I like actually can't breathe. But don't worry, Noel, I'm getting in shape so you won't always have to edit out all these gasps that I'm making. I think it'll help my breathing quality. All right, guys, we're back at the Morgan household. I just had some ice cream with Linda, even though it's a weekday. I've been trying to, if you're new here, I've been trying to like monitor healthier eating by saving desserts for the weekends and trying to be more conscious of eat, uh, like eating healthier on the weekdays, but we had a long day, okay? And I haven't broken that rule once since I made it like a month and a half ago, maybe. So that's big for me because I'm a big sweets person. So today was an exception, but that's okay. Or Mackenzie's bathroom and I really need some type of hair mask or something. So let's see what we can find in here. It's so funny because we get a lot of the same stuff, but like a lot of different stuff too. This looks like the thing we need. A hair strengthener. My hair's feeling brittle. It's looking like I need a haircut and just dry from being at the beach, you know? I gave this to Phil actually. So I've never really tried this product when I got the PR for it, but he had seemed to have loved it. So is she apparently because there's not much in here. Okay, well, I think that's dead. So let's see what's next. Oh, no, got some. Maybe I do have this. I don't know, I do feel some type of living proof thing that Mackenzie really liked, but he has crazy curls, so he needs it sometimes. Something you could scan. Back with the parents. <laughs> Looking good. I got the Oriental and chicken salad. Dad got a quesadilla burger. Mom got some soup and her McKenzie are splitting nachos. All right. We're Get packing up shop. <laughs> Um, yeah, we've been together for like 20 years. This is days the straight. longest consecutive amount of days we've ever spent together. Yeah, and we did pretty well, I think. All right, guys, bye. We'll see you in BBI. Adios, see you in 10 days. Well, you'll see me tonight, but you'll see Mackenzie in BBI. All right, now we're heading back to Jersey, about an hour and a half. We got some packages while I was away. Phil's gonna be here in like 15 minutes, so I'm gonna try to unbox these before he gets here and get ready, because I'm a sweaty mess, so. I'm just we're gonna do a speed round. red dress we have cute little button up to go over a bikini at the beach this crew neck there was a lot of things out of stock that i wanted like a crew neck definitely was my first option for summer but it's really cute for summer because it's like a light color this is california on it shout out to my california area air <laughs> shout out to my california era oh i thought this would be cute for miami maybe this little like mustard color dress and then this dress is cute too super summery with some lemons Yep, some hair care stuff from Uberless. Um, I got purple conditioner and shampoo because the highlights in my hair are actually really coming out. Oh, a free stock from Dr. Dennis Gross. I love this skincare. Um, I highly recommend. It's expensive, but I think it, this brand is worth it. Dippin' Daisies. This is cute. This, like, dual action here. This one. And... Just a regular orange, super cute. YSL mascara. And then JS Health, I love their detox and deep bloat pills. Um, anytime I'm in a bathing suit, I take this in the morning and it honestly makes me feel skinnier. I don't know if that's good for you or bad for you, but it definitely clears, clears you, you out. Give them something to your mama. Function of Beauty is next. This is gonna be messy, so we're gonna open this later. More perfume. Body lotion set. 
from Victor and Rolf. Oh, I love this hair mask from Brio Geo. They had a really cute pair. Watch that. I should take a picture of this. They sent me a carry-on. Crocs. Oh my gosh, look how cute this is. I think there's something in here. Look how cool. I wonder what's in here. Check that out. Oh my gosh, I've never received PR like this before. My beautiful mother set up all the PR. I'm gonna get in the shower before Phil gets here. Phil just got here. Look at him with the flowers, so cute. Camo. Guys, he's been on his flower grind. You saw my other vlogs. He sent two beautiful bouquets to Florida for me. I ripped the price off of this one for you. <laughs> my my, we just went to go get a drink and Phil got a pork ribeye. I ate before, so I didn't eat. Here, but Phil is doing the carnivore diet right now and he's doing all meat. And now we're gonna go to Death of a Fox and get one more brew before the sunset. I think we're gonna go to Riverwinds if we have time. Right, Philip? That's right. <laughs> okay, we went to Death of the Fox and I got a beer flight. Go so get a red beer. This is blueberry muffin beer. This one's so good. If it was the fall, this would get like a nine. This one's creme brulee. Wow. All right, Phil and I are going to watch the sunset in my backyard, actually, and it's over here. But yeah, I'm over here. Yeah. I'm on now. <laughs> we got our brews. And I've been drinking a lot in these vlogs. I'm really not a huge drinker, but no, well, recently. No, no, don't believe it. Hey. Do, do not believe that. No. I don't know. It was our first night home, so we decided to go get a drink. And the sunset back here. There's nothing I love more than this view right here, guys. Guys, that's the truth. That tree. Let me zoom in. I used to think that these were the African plains and that that tree was Africa. And like my house in New Jersey was right back here. This is served, playing Nora Jones, just like in St. Pete. This is the breakfast Mackenzie and I have been obsessed with. Today we only have rye toast. I usually do sourdough with um, avocado, eggs, and bacon on top. All right, I had a big breakfast. I did some emails, cleaned my room a little bit while watching The Nanny, and it's 10.15. I have a 10.30 Orange Theory class. This is my first Orange Theory class back in Jersey. Um, if you guys haven't watched my last few vlogs, I've been really trying to find a workout class that works for me as a retired Division One athlete after being being out of a sport for four years because like I feel like I kind of skated by the past few years with still having muscles like from my time playing for so many years where now at 26 like any of like my playing type of physique is definitely gone now and just like as I'm aging I'm trying to figure out like the healthiest and best way for me to stay fit and I kind of am really liking Orange Theory right now. I think now that I'm home I'm also going to do hot yoga. I have a studio here called Tribe that I really really love. I love working out there but I kind of thought that when I was just doing hot yoga for like months at a time and that was all I was doing workout wise was I still like I still wasn't looking my best you know what I mean like I felt like I wasn't getting strong enough I think I need to add some lifting in too so I think that's why Orange Theory has really been helping me so I think a mixture between that hot yoga and Sculpt Society might be my perfect trio and like running once in a while obviously too so we'll have to see how we balance all that this summer and like when we're doing these classes I'm, I want to try to do Orange Theory like two to three times a week so let's go in I have to like sign a waiver or something because it's a new place, but um, I'll let you guys know how my class is. Orange Theory was good. Same as in Florida. My coach's name is Sam. She literally is like the female version of Sean White, and I loved her energy. Um, right now, I've just been running the bands that they give you at Orange Theory. It's like $5 a class, or you can buy it for $129, but like I have my ring con ring that I usually wear when I'm not here, so I'm still debating on whether to purchase that or not, but yeah, it was pretty good. I'll put my stats right here. I know that's like annoying sometimes, but for me, it's like really helpful to gauge my workout and like how hard I'm pushing myself and how much harder I can push myself so um that's why I've been kind of enjoying it and yeah I think I'm just gonna go walk on my walking pad for a little bit and do some editing from some videos that I have left over from St. Pete and then Phil's coming over again tonight the only kind I could think of so far of living at the beach is that 
your laptop gets sand in it. Like there was literally sand all over my keyboard. I just used like this stuff, this pink stuff, to try and get like all out of the keys. So that's what I've been doing. I'm watching the nanny and unpacking a little bit. I have like three more bags to go. <laughs> label maker on Amazon and I've been labeling all my bins like this oh it's not on the yet like this and like this one just this next trip so whatever I'm planning on bringing like our next trip is BVI which is two weeks away and I haven't packed it obviously and instead of just like leaving it out in my room I want to like put it in this bin so that way I can like kind of put it away but also have it organized and I have one for the shore and posh and all of that so I'm trying to get organized over here today while I'm unpacking all right guys here is the stair stepper at work. I don't know if you've seen it in this video yet. I did it this morning for a little bit, but this is my TikTok shop stair stepper. I think I like it. I like my walking pad a little bit more, but this is definitely cool. In Sammy's hair salon on Phil's mullet right now. Yes. We're trying to find the products that work best for for his curls. We haven't found them yet. <laughs> we haven't found them yet. It's like his, his mullet's become my personal project and I'm not doing very well with You're it. Failing. Yeah, I'm really failing, but we're trying to find something. Good morning. It's Friday. It's a rainy day. I'm eating a protein pancake and we're heading to the movement center in Philly this morning for a workout. We're doing a Pilates class and hanging in the recharge room. So we'll have to see what all that means, but I'm excited to check it out. I've been wanting to work with them since before I went to Florida, but they just recently opened. So let's go see what it's like. Also, this is a chocolate protein pancake, just so you know. It is a little bit burnt, but it's chocolate. It's not that burnt. All right, all right. We just got to Philadelphia. We are right off of South Street. It's been a while since I've been in Philly which is crazy because I used to live here. If you guys know, I went to college here. And a lot of my friends live here, so I'm usually in the city a lot, but obviously I've been in Florida for a while. So I'm wearing a full royal blue Gilly Hicks set. Even the tank is matching. And I can, can't do that with one hand, sorry guys. Um, but maybe I'll be able to record a little bit of this workout. We're doing Pilates Reformer with Amanda and then the recharge room, whatever that means. But I'm excited to try this out. Um, I've heard a lot about this and I've been like wanting to work with these people for a while. So I'm excited to do some coverage on them for my Instagram and local biz, you know? So let's hit it. It's raining, guys. Like I literally just got back from the sunshine for a month. So like I'm spoiled and I really can't complain But it would have been really great to come back to like the Philly area and it be summer, you know But it's 49 degrees and raining, but you know, we're gonna make the best out of it We're gonna go do a coffee shop after this edit some of my weekly vlog from the other week and just hit it Phil is gonna come over tonight. My parents are going down the shore So we have the place to ourselves, which is great because as you guys know, I still live at home Um, but yeah <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm at the Movement Center right now. I just put a couple clips in of our Pilates session. Amanda was amazing. I really, really enjoyed the Pilates here. Sometimes I feel like with Pilates, it's kind of an expensive workout for you not to feel results. And when I came here, I know the for a fact that I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. Like a few of my last sessions, I wasn't too happy with it. Some other studios, because I kind of felt like I really didn't feel the effects, but Amanda's session was really, really great. So right now we're in the recharge room. Okay, and there's an infrared sauna, which I've never tried an infrared sauna before, and a cold plunge. If you've been here since my temple days, Fafa Chikara made us get into its hub after preseason with literally like shovels of ice, but I've never done like a traditional cold plunge. So here's what we're doing. 10 to 12 minutes in here. You walk over here, 30 seconds in there. 30 seconds to three minutes as long as you can last. And then you do the cycle again one more time and then some people do it three times and then a quick shower. Also love the eucalyptus touch on the shower here. So let's get started. to rinse off the infrared sauna was so good so relaxing the cold plunge is no joke first i did probably like 18 seconds give or take and then the second time i did i did the 30 but the 30 is like the base and like some people do three minutes i can only get to like my waist i can definitely tell like that it's so good for you to go back and forth um i definitely want to try it again so we're gonna take a shower and then head to a coffee shop and get some work done So 
So I've been in that coffee shop like twiddling my thumbs and I just realized my car's been in a two hour parking spot for over three hours and I have no idea where it's at. I actually don't, I, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to find it obviously. But it's kind of raining, it's cold and I really don't know where my car is so. We gotta figure this out guys. Okay, let's do a quick little grocery haul. So I went to Aldi on the way home. I did find my car. Oh, I've been really into that watermelon salad, so I got watermelon, feta, and mint to make that. I got orzo because Mackenzie made Greek chicken bowls the other day, and I really liked those, so I got that and tzatziki. Um, these like pita breads. Hi. Tomatoes, which is crazy. I've like never bought tomatoes. Thank gosh our garden's gonna be ready soon. I won't have to buy them anymore. Just extra rice. Mozzarella feta. Pesto and I got pesto from ShopRite too because apparently Mackenzie thinks that this pesto is not that good and I'm, this is the pesto I've really ever had so we'll have to see. A cucumber for the Greek bowl. Just chicken, so nothing crazy. Okay, dinner tonight. We're doing the mozzarella baked chicken with pesto and tomatoes. Phil's on the carnivore diet right now so we gave him extra chicken and extra juice and I did some rice and most of the tomatoes. I left a few tomatoes on for him though because it just adds the flavor. And we got some cab. We have Ashley and John's porch playlist playing. I'll link that down below. It's really a great dinner playlist. Okay, so I'm making Phil play a game with me and we're either gonna do Tapple, which I really like, and these two we have tried to play but we haven't really figured it out yet, so. Okay, we're making brownies. We're just having a date night in tonight with wine and music Maybe and stuff. Movies. Phil really wants to go to the movies. What do you want to see? Movies. Fall it's Guy. Fall Guy with Ryan Gosling. He's been itching to see it. I don't know. It's not even 6 And it sounds like a good movie, so we might Uber to the movies. Because <laughs> we're already a bottle of wine, and thank God I got two. Okay, you guys, I'm going to put Phil's favorite candy is Reese's, and I have all of these, like, eggs, these peanut butter eggs from Easter that we never ate. So I'm going to put them in the brownies and see how that turns out. All right, oh. let's see. Woo! A heater, Laney Wilson. This one's good too, by Taylor. Guys, these look insane. We just called Phil's parents. <laughs> he switched to Jack, I'm still on the cab. Right, this was a $10 bottle and it was so good. Right like, I don't, here. maybe I just like don't know good enough, but I never feel like exit. I could tell the difference between expensive wine or not. I always get the cheap stuff and I feel like it's good, so. It's 309 Lancel Exit. That's where the 309 Cheers. Cinema is. Good morning. Actually, not good morning, it's literally 1.30. I like never let myself sleep in like this and Phil left for work. Phil's work this weekend, unfortunately. I like never let myself sleep in like this and after he left, I just didn't set an alarm and I was like, oh my God, what time is it? And it was literally like 12.30 and I was like, oh, whatever. I needed it, I guess. I'm gonna lay here and edit my weekly vlog scheduled for tomorrow. I don't know what I'm doing tonight. I might see Soph, I'm hoping. It depends. Her boyfriend graduated yesterday, so she's a bit hungover. If not, I will probably reschedule with her next week, but I'm hoping that she is up to doing something tonight and tomorrow's mother's day so grandmom and mama are coming over tomorrow so that should be nice so i'm revived and showered phil got home from work we just made some margaritas we're gonna go get tacos and margs i'm wearing this top from brandy melville this cardigan from shop Elan, my favorite levi's i'll link them down below the low pros and some boots so here are margs woohoo Bill got a lava cake with vanilla ice cream. Woo! We're also drinking red wine at a Mexican place, like sue us. I did bring tequila, but we just decided to do red wine because we had bars before we left, so. One bite, everybody knows the rules. What was it? He doesn't like bar stool. Very good. Good morning. I desperately need to clean my room, but it's also Mother's Day. I got my mom a pair of AirPods, so. I think she'll like that. Okay, I'm about to head downstairs. My mom just got here, grandma's about to arrive. I'm very fortunate today to be able to spend Mother's Day with my mom and both my grandmoms. Um, if for whatever reason you are unable to spend it with your family, you're more than welcome to come spend it with mine. So we're just gonna do a brunch downstairs, nothing crazy. I just decided to put a dress on because honestly, this was like a select that I had to do a try on for today and I was like, that looks nice, so might as well. This is from Hollister, I'll link it down below. Has pockets, got a little slit, it's nice. A little back like this, um, it might be a little, 
cool. It's a little cold here to be wearing this, but I mean, like I said, we're just gonna be inside, so no big deal. Um, and I'm gonna go down and spend some time with my mom. Grandma's about to be here, and dad is making a huge breakfast downstairs. I made my watermelon feta salad that I made last vlog, I believe. That's always a big hit, so not really. It's a big hit with me. I've only made it like four times, but I made it for everybody today, so let's go. Happy Mother's Day, my mom. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. It's a video. Happy Not Mother's a Day. Happy Mother's Day. Cheers. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Okay, I still didn't feel like it, but after my grandmoms left, I came upstairs and I did like four or five TikToks to YouTube polls and just took pictures of all my new selects. I need to get better at that, like taking a lot of pictures of my selects and posting them on like to know it right away when they're still in stock. So I feel better about the week. I'm cooking my mom dinner for Mother's Day. I've become quite the cook recently, huh? I'm gonna make my favorite pasta that Mackenzie's introduced me to, which is the shrimp mozzarella pesto penne with cherry tomatoes. That's literally all the ingredients I just listed is exactly what's in it. Like literally just cook the pasta and the shrimp at the same time, throw it together, put pesto in it, some tomatoes and mozz. So yeah. And there it is done. All right guys, dinner was good. Happy Mother's Day, mom. We're watching American Idol in the Souter household tonight. All right, thank you for watching this weekly vlog. I will catch you guys next week. I have a modeling job tomorrow morning, so that's where we're gonna start our vlog next week. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Sorry, Luke Bryan's being kind of loud. Good night.